Well, here it is. Uh, it's my last day of striper fishing for you. I've already transitioned into blue fishing, which has been tough. Um, I busted off one in three days. And there's a couple around, but hopefully that's gonna improve real soon. And uh, yeah, well, here you go. Last day of striper, enjoy. Final day, my friends. Final day. Uh, back on the flats one last time. I'm trying to figure out where to find some fish today. I'm trying to beat the fleet. And uh, yeah, trolling, uh, trolling around first. Catch a couple fish on the troll, maybe. Uh, it's not bait, but uh, not fish. Bad start. I already did a couple miles, haven't seen anything. Uh, keep going. Just hopefully find something. Not a good sign. Just hoping to bump into a couple of fish by now. But well, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, I don't know. My fish finder's not working, so... I'm doing this kind of blind right now. Just hoping to pick a couple of fish. And uh, I was just trolling the, that's a two ounce, that's a two ounce jig head, uh, seven inch peanut shad. Pretty good fish actually. All right, oh, there it is. That's a pretty good fish. Another male, man, they're all male. Big body males out here. This year. Females aren't feeding. Females are just somewhere else, I think. Might be out in the ocean, but. Healthy 34, 35 inch fish. Let's put her back, right? Oh, that's annoying that I don't have a working sonar. This sonar sucks, man. It's so fickle. Look at it. Like, the minute a grain of sand gets on the transducer, which is impossible to keep off, because, right? I love technology when it works, and when it doesn't work, it's the worst. Here. Now I'm like picking up a couple, picking up bottom again. There might have been a couple of fish. Let me stop on that. Come over here. My depth finder gave out, so I'm just doing this off of my uh, my chart. I'm kind of guessing where fish are, and it looks like it's working. What? Yeah. That's a pretty good fish. All right, we're gonna jig them off the bottom. That's how, that's how I've been getting them. That's how I got this fish. I, I picked one other one on the troll, but this is a nice fish. Nice fish, huh? There you go. All right. Peace out, my friend. All right, so I'm fishing with Ryan won a trip, giveaway trip, j &H, uh, Tackle did one. Uh, and I've uh, kind of dropped the ball on this one a little bit. First of all, I dragged them five miles to find some fish. Ah, eh, not five, about three or four. And then on top of that, my depth finder gave out. So I'm pretty ill-prepared for what's gonna go down. But hopefully we can get this done by playing the guessing game. All right, I don't have, you don't have a depth finder either, right? Yeah. First of all, we got incoming tide. Turn and face the tide, right? We're gonna be ca cast up towards the tide. I'm using one ounce. Ca gonna cast up toward the tide. Uh, um, and let the jig hit the bottom. 
As soon as it hits the bottom, pop it back. So watch how I'm gonna do this. As soon as it hits bottom, I'm gonna reel tight, right? I'm gonna pop it, reel up any slack, let it tick bottom, pop it, reel up any slack, let it tick bottom again, and just pop it all the way back to the kayak. They're gonna hit on the drop as soon as the jig is sinking back to the bottom. I'm using one, yep. All right, let's go up there. That's where I had my two heads and you had one. I'm just gonna follow my GPS track. Oh, there we go. Nice. Damn. Guess I was marking a couple fish. Get over here, guys. I got a horse on. Yeah, but you, you got to figure out the rhythm. I, I go pretty slow. There it is. Solid fish. All right, another good fish, man. Another male. Uh, so much for that theory. Let all the you know, go. Pretty unique day. I've been running around out here. Um, no idea. Very strange day. Let me take this. Oh, you see all those little dots on the horizon there? Uh, headed out that way. Um, I count my blessings what I caught before that but working my way to that I want a picture of him lip him oh there he goes decent fish right Feels like a pretty good fish. Yeah, it is. Ah, f this thing. Let me show him. Put some screws to him. Good fish, man. You guys think solid forty inch or so? Right? What do you guys think? High thirties, thirty inch. -er. Nice one. Alright. There's a two ounce Kalen's and a seven inch peanut shad. Just lugging it out behind me, pedaling like hell. Um, nice to see a decent fish away from the fleet, but that was cool. Yeah, we're picking away. I'm sure you guys are too. I'm gonna kind of follow the line back home just in case the wind pack picks up for me because uh, got a ways back. Well, you do too, but I'm gonna just play kind of safe. Sounds good, man. O'Donnell just picked up. He's on a fish right now. Yeah, we're picking him in the channel, actually, man. Uh, Ryan got one in the mid-30-inch class, too. Nice, nice. All right, 
All right, a little tougher than it has been. Uh, still, ended up with four good fish. Uh, two on, two of the good ones were on the troll. Two good ones jigging. So that was cool. What I'm jigging with, it's the same as you saw before. Ten spin fisher. Um, this is uh, what I started trolling with. That's what I'm probably gonna end up using for barracuda this season. Uh, it's a seven and a half foot uh, medium heavy jigging world nexus rod and. Uh, Pen Slammer 4500. Uh, brought that, that striper to the boat in about a minute and a half, so it didn't take very long. Uh, other than that, that's about it. Wind's starting to kick up. It's supposed to come out of the south pretty good in a little bit. Uh, so I've combed the day pretty early. And that's it. Back to North Carolina for me.